This is the Goddess Sessions. My name is Devatara and this is Kobe. Welcome back, my wonderful soul friends. And so the Celtic Wheel of the Year turns once again as we move from light into dark. We're here to celebrate Samhain, the Celtic Festival of Fire, the Celtic New Year, the gathering of the last harvest and the sacrificing of the animals so that our ancestors could get through the winter. It is a time of release, transformation, just as the leaves above shed what no longer serves them. And then they transform and decompose to renew the land. And for us, for us to let go what no longer serves us in our lives now, as we move into the winter period, a time to cocoon, reflect, gestate, so we can be renewed in the springtime. We honor our ancestors, our bloodline, all that came before us on our land, the lands of our ancestors and throughout the world. And so we start our practice today, placing one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, breathing deep into the chest, into the belly, grounding ourselves. We give thanks to our ancestors. And imagine a green light of love, joy, happiness and health expanding from your chest, from your heart center. You can place two hands on your chest now. Filling your entire being with an abundance of love, joy and health. Expanding it outwards. And now ask your guides and guardians or higher self to send an abundance of love, joy, happiness and health to all your bloodline and soul family in all dimensions and timelines. Feel that green energy moving out, moving to those who most need it. Giving love and support and gratitude. to all that have come before us. To the land that we're on. To all that will come after us. Feel that energy spreading out even further. Covering the country you're in now. Touching all beings. Plant and animal. Spreading out to your continent. out into other continents until it encompasses the whole world.
and feeling that love from Mother Earth being sent back to you, giving thanks for this blessings on all her children. With giving and receiving abundance. A few more deep breaths. One last deep breath. Exhale, sighing out, releasing. And now come to the front of your mat. Disclaimer, I did bring Kobe, but he's my ally. <laughs> Come here, back here. <sighs> Bringing your hands to heart center, centering your heart. And then releasing the arms, feel your feet, the soles of your feet connecting with the earth. Imagine silver roots going from your feet down deep into the earth, grounding you. Connecting with the heart of Mother Earth. Bringing your weight onto the left hand side, we're going to move into tree pose. Bring the soles of the opposite foot into the inner leg. If you need a wall, rest up against the wall. And then bring the arms up and overhead. Grounding that left foot into the earth. Inhale, bring the knee forward and bring it up. Again, grounding that front leg. Flex the feet on the right hand side. And now this right leg is going to go back. You're going to come forward, opening up the chest. Grounding again into the earth. Arms like a bird. This is a time of transformation. Imagining you're the phoenix. Your arms like the wings of the phoenix. Then bring the hands down. Long, slow, deep breaths, wherever your body is comfortable. If you need a block, place your hands on blocks. Inhale. Bring the foot down to meet the other. Exhale, forward bend, allow the knees to be soft. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, root to rise, bend the knees and press into the soles of the feet into the earth. Raise up to the sky, to the broader sky, giving thanks. Exhale, bringing hands back down through heart center. Bringing the weight onto the right hand side. Bringing the left sole to meet the inner thigh. If you have slippy leggings, your leg might slip. <laughs> Into true pose, grounding through the soles of your feet. Inhale, raise the arms or bring them to your heart center, wherever is comfortable, whatever true pose is in your practice. Long, slow, deep breaths.
grounding into the earth, giving thanks to the earth for its abundance. Release the arms, release the leg, and bring it forward, flexing the foot. Again, those roots, silver roots from the soles of your feet, earthing. On an inhale, that left leg goes back and spread your wings, opening up your heart center and grounding into the earth. Long, slow, quick, deep breaths. Inhale. And on an exhale, bring the hands down towards the earth. Raise up that left leg. Long, slow, deep breaths. Exhale, slowly, gradually bringing the left foot down to meet the other. Inhale, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift up halfway. Copy, copy. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, root to rise, bend the knees. Ground into the earth as you raise up. Giving thanks to the sun for its light during the summer period. And absorbing the last of the light to bring us through until the spring. And then hands down through heart center, holding that light. Allow that height to build. Bring it down into your solar plexus. Imagine your solar plexus, a golden ball expanding. Absorbing as much light as possible. Like a power bank for you in this period of time. Your inner light lighting the darkest shadows. Expand it outwards into your entire being. and release. So as it's also fire festival, we're going to do some Shakti. Wow, there's loads of leaves on my mat. Okay, Shakti yoga. So bring the feet out, facing outwards, and we're going to do some goddess poses. So inhale, bring the arms up and into like goal post. Exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale down. <sighs> Inhale, star, exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Imagine your starlight, inspiration, guidance. Bring down that energy into the divine goddess within, <sighs> the god or goddess within. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Take a few deep breaths here. In Ireland, the Celtic goddess of Samhain is Morrigan, the goddess of death and war. 
She's connected with the raven and is a cycle pump. She brings the souls from this life to the next, accompanying them, guiding them. Release by standing up straight, release the arms, and then bring your weight onto the right hand side. And then you can either have the foot up or relax it, wherever is comfortable for you. Inhale. You can bring the foot onto the earth, find what feels right for your body. What is in your practice? Long, slow, deep breaths. Then bring the fingertips towards the earth. Change sides, they might be different on different sides. Be curious about your body. Where does it need to be today? Rather than judging it, just allow it to be. Nope. My foot won't touch the earth today. And that's okay. Breathing deep. Walk the hands back. And opposite side. Bring the hands back. We're going to come to the center. Tiptoe the feet in. And moving into a squat pose. Allow the knees to move outwards. Make sure you don't press your elbows on your knees because that can cause damage. If you need a block to sit on, that's fine. Again, listen to your body. Moving into a state of allowing. The winter period is a yin time, a feminine time, a time to nest, a time to be allowing, patient, flowing, reflective. Bring the fingertips to the earth, raise the hips up towards the sky, bring the feet out. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward bend. Bring the weight forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift up halfway and then walk the feet in slightly until they come all the way together. Bend the knees and root to rise. Now we're gonna come on to all fours. Kobe, shush, shush, yes. Coming onto all fours, gonna curl the toes and push back into downward dog. Walk the dog, pedaling the feet out. And then holding downward dog, allow the head to shake. Imagine just letting go, releasing all that we don't need, don't want, all that doesn't support us. Release it into the earth to be healed, transmuted.
One last deep breath. And exhale, sighing out, bring the right foot into the middle and off to the opposite side. Bring the weight of the left foot onto the inner sole of the feet and raise up. Breathing deep. Exhale, bring the hand down. Feet come back. And this time, the right foot comes back into wild thing. Bring the right arm up and overhead. Breathing deep, creating space. In the side body creating space in our lives for peace and harmony within. Exhale, bring the arm up and across and down and the leg back, pedal out the feet. Into downward dog, three deep breaths to reset. Breathe in, left foot comes underneath. Raise the right hand up. Into fallen star. Inhale, top hand comes down. Left foot comes back. Pedal out the feet into downward dog, and then left foot comes up and back behind. Left hand comes up and over the head into wild thing. Oh wow, the leaves, the trees are beautiful. Inhale, hands come back, leg comes back, pedal at the feet. And then come to a lying down position. Inhale, into lotus, raise the legs up, arms back. Breathe deep. Exhale, relax the arms down. Relax the head, allow the spine to relax, the buttocks relax, shoulders relax. So I apologize for Kobe barking, but he is my ally, my protector. I'm in the middle of the woods. Coming onto the knees, palms, root into the earth, push back. Slide the hands back, toes together, bottom towards your heels. Inhale, bring the arms up and overhead, giving thanks for all that is good in our lives. Exhale, palms come towards the earth and slide forward. Forehead, our third eye touching the earth, absorbing wisdom from the earth from the front of our forehead and from the back, wisdom from the heavens, the stars, the moon, grandmother moon, 
Father, Son, We ask them to support and guide us as we go through the dark period of the year. Help us shed what we need to shed. Support us, nurture ourselves. and guide us in our transformation. Guide us towards newer, better thoughts, habits, passions, beliefs, the courage to accept new and better opportunities to step, to be brave and step towards a newer, brighter path. One last deep breath. Exhale, sighing out. And now for Shavasana, coming to a lying down position Feel your body being supported by the earth. Surrender to the support. So now, I want you to call if it feels right for you, if it resonates, in the, fi in the fire dragons. I call upon the fire dragons. To burn through any lower energies. in my physical body and energetic bodies. Imagine the fire burning through anything that no longer serves you, any lower energies. I call upon the fire dragons to come and burn through any lower energies in my home, in the place where I am now. Imagine them all coming in. I call upon the fire dragons to come in 
and burn through any lower energies on this land and underground into the ley lines. Clearing and cleansing under my home. The area where I live. I give thanks to the dragons for this cleansing of myself and of the earth and the air. And now call upon the wind dragons to blow fresh energy in of higher vibration into your home, into your being. raising your vibration and that of your home, the area where you are now. I call them in to this land, raising the vibration of this whole area. I call upon the golden dragons to bring in the Christ light, sending healing into my physical and energetic bodies. Imagine them blowing golden lights, seeing it spread through your body and energy fields. I call upon the golden dragons to spread golden high vibrational lights around the air, around the trees, all beings around this area. I call upon the, the golden dragons to bring this golden Christ light down into the ley lines, into the earth, to send healing to the ley lines, into the earth that nourishes us all. And now take one last deep breath. <laughs> Exhale, sighing out. I bring my hands together. I give thanks for you all joining me here today for participating in this practice, for investing in your well being, for aligning with the natural cycles and connecting with her ancestors, Mother Earth, Father Sky, Grandmother Moon, the stars, for aligning with the natural cycles and the Celtic world of the year. I feel this golden light connecting through us all kindred spirits. Bring my arms out, palms facing up. I gather this energy we've created as a collective today of gratitude, healing, and honoring ourselves, all that came before us and all that will come. Gurumila Mahagatharfat. Thank you so much, Sloan Augustanic. Goodbye and divine blessings on you. From my heart to yours, Omakri Kajigupta Kri. Take care and nurture yourself as we move towards the winter solstice. Have a wonderful week. Bye bye.